Hello, and welcome back to my legendary walkthrough for Halo 5 Guardians. In the last episode, Fire Team Osiris, you are cleared to land in Docking Bay 11. We completed the first mission of the game, which was Osiris, and today we'll be completing the second mission, Blue Team. I sent you my position three weeks ago. I told you this was happening. We'll discuss that in private, Doctor. Palmer. What has she done? How far has it already gone? Good work, Osiris. What do you think that's about? seen Chief press himself like this since we were in boot camp. He's fine, Fred. This many missions non-stop isn't fun. Sierra 117 to infinity. Blue team has located Argent Moon. Signs of hostile activity, but she's still here. Copy that, 117. Eliminate all hostiles. Secure Argent Moon. You may deploy when ready. Affirmative infinity. 117 out. about Argent Moon. Pony Research Station. Went dark 19 months ago. Last week, Kigyar scavengers found it and sold the find to Julem Dama's people. We clear the Covenant and return this station to Oni. Fastest route to retrieval is to see central control. Eliminate hostels between here and there, then deactivate gravity and life support systems. Ship data center is just ahead. We can pull down Argent Moon schematics there. Impressive. Looks like they were designing a new stealth class vessel. They lost years of expensive R&D with this station. When the doors to this room open, you will find two grunts waiting for you, but they're not going to know that you're here just yet. Melee the first grunt so the second one doesn't see you. Then you can feel free to assassinate the second one if you like. Once those runs are down, the next set of doors will open to reveal more enemies waiting for you. Grenade the jackals as they push from the left, and even if that doesn't kill them, you can still shoot them in the head with your magnum. Now you have a ton of grunts and two elites to deal with. You can take out the grunts by simply shooting them in the head, and for the elites, fire your assault rifle and short controlled burst to strip his shield, then switch to the magnum to finish them off. If you're having trouble with that, you can always pick up a plasma pistol, but I found that it's much more fun to use the assault rifle magnum combo. Keep moving between cover spots to make it harder for the elites to shoot you.
Once they are both down, move up the ramp and shoot the jackals in the head with the magnum, then use the assault rifle magnum combo against the elite. Now sometimes he pulls out a sword, but even if he does, you can still combo him rather easily. With the leader of the pack down, the grunts will panic and make them easy targets for the Magnum. When the room is clear, order one of your teammates to pick up a Needler. This part isn't a necessity, but it certainly helps. What you definitely want to do is go back to the ammo crate to top off your assault rifle and Magnum. Data center. We've got a complete set of data set keys for the station. We should be able to pull down Argent Moon schematics and find a path to central control. Entry accepted. Access the data banks. Grab the data and current population map. Should be a straight shot to central control through the assembly bay ahead. There are still prowlers in the hangar bays. Nobody from Oni got out of here alive, did they? No. Let's go. Elevator. On my mark, blue team. Central control straight across this bay. Everything's ripped up. They must be stripping that experimental ship for parts. Scavengers, taking what supplies they can find. The Covenant's war against the Arbiter must not be going well. Jul M. Dama is a lot of things, but he's no prophet. Most direct route to the shipyard is through the wall ahead. Let's charge through. Again, while it's not necessary, you can order one of your teammates to pick up this SMG. The idea here is to give your teammates more useful secondary weapons than the Magnum for combat. Now what a lot of new players probably did is Spartan charged into this barricade and get themselves killed by the ambush at the bottom. But what you're going to do instead is melee this barricade down and pull out your Magnum to snipe the grunts out from up top here. When the initial wave of grunts is cleared, slide down the ramp and take the battle to the ground. Contact. A pair of jackals will group up behind cover in the middle, but a single frag grenade will deal with them rather easily. Now aside from that, there aren't really any special strategies here. Just keep moving between cover spots and use the assault rifle magnum combo against all the elites. You can also try to stick some of them with your plasma grenades if you have any, but mileage may vary on that front, as elites don't generally like to stand still. But in some cases, it actually works out quite nicely. When the ground floor is clear, move up this ramp with your team and take aim at the jackals and elites. Your best shot at cover here is actually going to be the staircase itself. Really the only danger in doing this is that sometimes the elites will chuck plaza grenades in your direction in an attempt to stick you, but all that means is you need to be vigilant for when they start to throw them and quickly thrust out of the way so you don't get stuck. Now you'll notice that I'm not using the assault rifle anymore to strip this last elite shield, and that's because I'm going to be swapping out the magnum for a DMR at the top of the stairs. So if you want to conserve your assault rifle ammo, which I highly recommend that you do, 
You can just use the Magnum to strip the Elite Shield and kill him. Another option is to pick up a Storm Rifle to conserve the Assault Rifle, but the idea is more about using the Magnum as much as we can before we ditch it than it is necessarily conserving the Assault Rifle. Order your last unarmed teammate to pick up the Hydro Launcher. As with before, if either the SMG Spartan or Needler Spartan grab the Hydro Launcher, you'll have to keep ordering them to pick different stuff up until everyone is armed. An additional note is that while arming your teammates with the Needler and SMG were primarily optional strategies, you absolutely must have one of your teammates carry this Hydro Launcher all the way until the first battle with the Hunters. As a result, your job is going to be key keeping whoever that ends up being alive and reverting to a checkpoint if he or she gets killed. In this case, that means that I am now Kelly's guardian angel. Alright, once everyone's loadouts are set, head over to this tunnel on the left and swap out your magnum for the DMR. Use that to headshot the three grunts that approach you, but don't shoot unless you have a guaranteed headshot. You don't have a lot of ammo for this thing, and there are a lot of enemies in the next room. You need to make this DMR last until you can go for ammo, which means being very careful with how often you fire the weapon. Anyway. Once the grunts are down, order your team up onto this ledge and take aim at the jackals and grunts along the center beam. If they start to bunch up like this, a well-placed grenade should do some damage. Now eventually the grunts are going to start to figure out how to get up to your position, so when that happens just turn towards them as they come up and shoot them in the head. Aside from the occasional grunt rush, you can just stay up here and pick everything off from range. Uh oh, looks like Kelly needs a hand. If the Spartan with the Hydro Launcher falls down and needs a revive, you're gonna have to take the battle to the ground to help them up. This does mean abandoning the high ground advantage, but trust me, keeping that Hydro Launcher around is far more important. A grenade should take care of the group of jackals up ahead. Now because you're close enough and are likely running low on DMR ammo, I can start to use my assault rifle to mow down any grunts that stand in our way. For ammo conservation, temporarily swap out the assault rifle for a needler and push up along the right side. Unleash an entire clip into the Elite to take him out, and from there all that remains are Jackals and Grunts. Nobody's left standing. Let's move on to central control. When you get the all clear, head back to retrieve your assault rifle wherever you dropped it, which proved to be a rather difficult task for me. Then, before you leave, top off your GMR ammo and grenade supply with the crate in here. Central control is through those doors. Blue team, report. Sierra one one seven to blue team, report. Sierra one one seven, does anyone copy?
achieved. The domain is open. Meridian is next. Cortana? John, the reclamation is about to begin. She's on Meridian. Who? Cortana. That's not possible. You said she was gone. I watched her die. We have a mission to focus on. We can talk about this later. Lights on. Frederick, get us back on course for central control. Bringing up schematics. There's an elevator we can use, but access is four levels down. Mark a path. Toss a frag grenade down the hole to take out as many grunts as you can, then temporarily ditch the DMR from the Magnum and take out whatever's still alive. Just further DMR ammo conservation. Retrieve the DMR once the grunts are down. Alright, this room's really easy. Just tap out all the sleeping grunts with one melee move. Again, melee, not assassinate. Once they're all dead, get a plasma grenade ready and chuck it at the elite in the center of this doorway when it opens up. That will only strip its shield, so use the DMR to finish him off, then use the assault rifle DMR combo on the second elite. From there, all that's left to take out is a single grunt. This area is clear. Chief, what did Cortana say to you? Not enough. Something about Meridian. Meridian's a backwater. If she's active, what's she doing so far out on the frontier? They're keeping pace with us. Be wary of the suicide grunt around this corner. Toss your other frag grenade down the hole to take out most of the jackals, then shoot the two suicide grunts in the head with your DMR. You're not out of the water just yet, though. There's going to be one more suicide grunt coming up this ramp, so get your DMR ready to take him out. Nice job, Kelly. Let's go, Kelly. There's going to be an army of jackals and grunts to the left as soon as you enter this room, so ready a plaza grenade and try to stick at least one grunt. That should take out some of them, and you can shoot down the rest with your DMR. But don't dawdle in doing so, because the door at the back of the room is going to open soon, and you need to be ready to face the sword zealot. Stick him with a plasma grenade and spray him down with the assault rifle. That should be enough to take him out. Just make sure you save at least one plasma grenade for the next encounter. Reach level three. One more level down to the elevator for central control. Before you move on, head over to this stack of boxes along the wall. Jump behind them and crouch to enter the secret room with another Hydra launcher. Since your fire team doesn't know how to get in there, you're going to have to do a little bit of weapon walking. Weapon walking is when you continually press the interact button as you move back through the vents in order to move the weapons along with you. Once you get out into the main room, order one of your Spartans to pick it up. And here's a little trick I learned. To force your fire team to hold out a specific weapon, simply order them to pick up a different one. This will force the weapon you gave them into their hands, which means that's the gun they're going to fire when they see an enemy. Which is important, because it's almost time for your first encounter with Hunters. Covenant battle net just lit up. Covenant ships exiting slip space. 
We're outnumbered here, Chief. A few thousand to one. Surrendering Arjun Moon is not an option. Neither is fighting half the Covenant in close quarters. Then forget about reaching central control. The plan changes to asset denial. We scuttle the Arjun Moon. Ship's reactor core is near here. Same plan as the perpetual devotion? We overload the reactor and evac. Ship explodes, destroying any ships nearby. The reactor is below the lab just ahead. We can use air ducts to travel between them. Marking the access panel. Chatter about Jewel M. Dahmer on Covenant comms. The new arrivals say he's dead. Somebody cut the head off the Covenant. Bravo. Hunters. They're strong, but slow. Use the lab equipment to keep above them and out of their reach. Weapons free. Wait for the hunter to turn his back to you, then stick his back with a plasma grenade to further expose his flesh. Then immediately turn and run for this cover spot on the left and swap out both your weapons with a shotgun and SMG. Then get the hunter to look toward you using these boxes as cover from the fuel rod shots, and once he's facing you and not your Spartans, order your fire team to shoot at him while you hold his attention. With two of your Spartans armed with hydro launchers, he won't even last five seconds. If any of your teammates go down, your first priority should be to revive them, because without the hydro launchers, this battle becomes a lot more difficult. Once your team is back up at full strength, do the same thing again with the second hunter. Once they're both down, retrieve your assault rifle and DMR. Schematics show a path to the reactor below here. Just ahead. We can light this fuse and bolt. No salvage for the Covenant. Right, let's go. A single grenade should take out at least one of the jackals, and you can just headshot the other one with the DMR. Reactor controls are on the far side of the room. Eliminate the Covenant forces and get to those controls. From there, move between cover spots and use the assault rifle DMR combo to take down the elites. Headshot any jackals to try to catch you off guard. Even though you've taken down the hunters, that doesn't mean your teammates are no longer useful. They will be instrumental in later sections, so keeping them alive is still a very good idea. After you've cleared the entire left ramp, set up shot by this ammo crate along the wall. Again, to conserve ammo for the DMR, I am temporarily swapping it out for a magnum. Now in this room, there are three jackal snipers and a turret that will constantly be remanned by elites. Both of these things are going to make clearing the room rather difficult, and pin you down against the wall in some cases, so to counteract that, head down to the ground and weapon walk a plasma pistol up to your base near the crate of weapons. I don't plan on resorting to the plasma pistol magnum combo often in this walkthrough, but I'm making an exception in this case because of the amount of stationary suppressive fire you're up against. Anyway, sneak along the walkway here, swap out your magnum for the covenant carbine, then take aim at one of the jackal snipers hiding out near the turrets. After you fire the shot, the elites will be made aware of your presence and try to hunt you down. But that's exactly what you want them to do. When the elites charge, overcharge the plasma pistol and let go, then finish him off with a headshot. Then quickly turn to the jackal sniper that will be following closely behind him and pick him off before he can fire. From there, just use the plasma pistol overcharge shot on any elites that get on the turret, or even just any that are roaming around.
Now, because the carbine fires plasma shots, it does a good job of stripping shields all on its own. So whenever your plasma pistol runs out of battery, you can always resort to using only the carbine to take out the elites. Still seeing hostiles. Clear them out so we can initiate the overload. When the carbine starts to run low on ammo, you can retrieve the magnum you dropped earlier and swap out your dead plasma pistol for the storm rifle. Since most of the elites should be dead by now, you should be safe to start comboing them. Fire the storm rifle in short controlled bursts so it doesn't overheat to strip their shields, and then finish them off with a magnum shot. When you can't see any more elites from outside the control center, head back to base and retrieve your assault rifle and DMR from the stash of weapons. Take aim at any straggler grunts or jackals you missed previously, and once you think everything is retreated, back inside the control room, clamber onto these pipes and follow them around the wall. Take another look for any stragglers to mop up, and when you're ready to make a break for the elites, order your squad to the far back of the room because once you disappear, they will charge headfirst into the control room and get themselves utterly annihilated by the elites. So instead, you want to keep them safe while you jump over here and ground pound your way into a secret room. Tub off your DMR ammo and open the doors into the room. If none of the enemies spot you, you can try to stealthily stick one of them with a plaza grenade and finish stripping their shields with the assault rifle, then the DMR for a finishing headshot. Before you do that, head back into the secret room you came from and arm your last teammate with a Hydra Launcher. If you follow my instructions up until this point, you should have all three teammates alive and they should all be armed with Hydra Launchers. Now in all honesty, this is more of an attempt to help them stay alive rather than to help you kill enemies because you're going to be giving them even better weapons in the next room. Of course, you can't do that if they get themselves killed, which is why they all have Hydra Launchers. Now on this playthrough, I only left one elite behind for me to mop up during my flanking maneuver, but depending on how many you killed earlier, there could be more in there waiting for you when you do the flank. Overloading. Move for the hangar bay. Containment. The station's going to try to cool the reactor. I guess the UNSC is better reactor safety protocol than the Covenant. We can stop that. The safety systems are set to pump coolant to the reactor. This whole plan fails if that coolant gets a chance to work. Shame to lose the Argent Moon, but I'd love to see the look on the Covenant's faces when she goes supernova. How do we stop it? There are sheds located on either side of the cooling chamber. Those are our targets. Reach the control sheds. Get the cooling system offline. Head up either main ramp and use the assault rifle and DMR to clear out any elites or jackals that stand in your way. Some jackals will jetpack over you to try to kill you from behind, and you can just let your fire team blow them sky high while you worry about the enemies at the top of the ramp. Take this position. 
Once the area is clear, hop on the Banshee and head for either of the two control stations, but either way you go, make sure you take out the other Banshee before you land. I recommend taking out as many enemies in the Banshee as you can before you land. Shades are still closed on those coolant pipes. Find a way to open them. System inner workings are exposed. Eliminate the targets, Blue Team. Grab Banshees. We can target the pipes more easily from the air. The Armada's been alerted to our presence. Reinforcements inbound. They're sending phantoms. It's working! Keep firing! Alright, so for the most part, there aren't any special strategies for this part. Press down on the D-pad to see where all the vents are and take them out one by one until they're all down. For the most part, you don't have to worry about the ground enemies, but the enemy banshees will definitely cause you problems, so shoot them down if they get too close to you. Only other thing I have to say is don't leave the area immediately after you shoot down all the vents, because we are going to arm some Spartans. If at any point a grunt EMPs you and you start to fall out of the sky, look toward the ceiling and hold the left trigger to boost upward. It depends on how far down you were when you got hit, but most of the time this will be enough to save you. Team, evac now. Banshees aren't fast enough to get clear of the reactor explosion. Scrying in the Pelican. No signal on autopilot retrieval. Amada must have taken it out. Frederick, find the nearest hangar bay. We're taking a prowler. Once you shoot at all the vents, land at the control center that you didn't land at previously. You can tell which one that is by looking at the door in the room. If it's open, it's the wrong one. If it's blocked off, you're at the right place. Clear out all the enemies in the Banshee before landing. Now, the reason why you want to land on the opposite side is the one you landed on previously is because there will still be enemies on the side. This station's about to be slagged. Move to the Prowler. And as a result, their weapons will be fresh for the taking when they die. If we went to the other one, there was a chance the weapon you want to grab may have despawned. Anyway, once the area is clear and all of your teammates have caught up with you, arm them all with fuel rod cannons. There's going to be two inside the room in the center and another one dropped from one of the grunts. Once everyone's set up with fuel rod cannons, now you can fly the Banshee over to the hangar bay. But don't run through the force field just yet. Hang back and make sure all three of your Spartans make it to the hangar bay alive. You don't want any of them to die or get left behind. Prowler's just inside, through an airlock. I'm on foot.
When you've reassembled the team, head off towards the final arena and in turn, the hardest fight in the mission. Clear them out and prep for launch. And do it quick. I'd rather not be here when the station melts around us. Proceed to escape vehicles immediately. As soon as you can get an angle through the door, take aim at the grunt arm with the fuel rod cannon and shoot him in the head before he gets the chance to fire it. Then move along the left side of the area and take out the jackal as you move. Walking this way will cause the elite to follow you along the path, and as he does so, you can use the assault rifle DMR combo to take him out before he gets too close. When he's dead, look for the second fuel rod grunt along the floor, and shoot him before he gets a shot off on any of your teammates. When you start to move further back into the room, you'll find the third fuel rod grunt near the top of the ramp. Shoot him once in the head, then take out the nearby elite with either the assault rifle DMR combo or some plasma grenades, your preference. There will be one more fuel rod grunt in the area, so be sure to shoot him before you mop everything else up. controls are here. Here I'm just tricking the team into holding out their fuel rod cannons so they can actually Hold use the them. While the Prowler preps for launch. Once that's done, head over to the corner of the room with the DMR ammo, shooting jackals as you go. A group of grunts will drop down onto the central bridge, and two of them are going to have fuel rod cannons, so prioritize them above the rest. Now seeing as the whole reason everyone has a fuel rod cannon is to deal with those hunters, I'm just doing one last check to make sure everyone is holding off that weapon. Once you make sure of that, head over to the ammo spot once again and let your fire team unload their fuel rod cannons into the hunters. While they do that, pick off any grunts and jackals that are left on the ground. Once there's nothing left to shoot, swap out your assault rifle for one of the many fuel rod cannons on the central bridge. Then order your team to fire on the hunter and join the army of green projectiles soaring through the air by firing your own fuel rod cannon at the hunter. Just like before, he'll last about 5 seconds. Now I'm not actually sure why I swapped out the fuel rod cannon for the rocket launcher because the former is far superior to the latter. Hold on to the fuel rod cannon for as long as it lasts and concentrate fire with your teammates to take down the second hunter. Make sure to distract him so that your fire team can get shots off on its back. If you find yourself pinned down on the ground like this, jump through one of the holes in the floor and order your teammates down there as well. Borrow a storm rifle from the jackal you'll find hiding from the battle, and once your shields recharge, you can rejoin the fight. 
Take out all the grunts from a distance and use the Storm Rifle DMR combo to take out the Elite. Or if you can get close enough, you can try to land a plaza grenade. The mission ends once the hangar bay is cleared out. Destination Meridian. Potential contact from Cortana. Negative 117. Another team is already being prepped to deal with her. What the hell? You're to return to Infinity immediately. Negative Infinity. I don't like it. Whoever they are, let's get to Meridian before they do. Kelly, no. No need to do this by yourself, Chief. Marshal all of us, right? 